All right, greetings, Kerbal Knots. This is Sid here. Gonna do a quick little, uh, whoa, what's going on? Quick little tutorial video here. Um, explaining a couple things right quick. First, this is gonna be useful to everybody. New to the game, rather. Uh, I'm gonna go over exactly how to set something up to use as a sub-assembly, because there are some rules when it comes to attachment points and, um, root parts is really what it comes down to. Um, so let's just say we're going to take this hypothetical scenario and let's say you want to build a little scanning satellite. Okay, We're just going to build a stupid little, and it's maybe not going to be complete. This is again for example. So let's just say you throw some pieces on here. Watch out. Oh, watch out. Of course this would need some batteries and some solar panels. I know. I know. It's an example. Fine, I'll put some solar panels on it. There. Leave me alone, guys. Leave me alone. Okay, now if you say if you try and save this right off as a sub assembly, it's gonna tell you no. You see this? The selected part is not attachable. I mean it is though, but it's not. Alright, here's what you're gonna need to do. You're going to need to start now, again, in this situation, if you're building this to go on a various, you know, you want one satellite, but you're going to use different launchers to go to the moon, to go to Minmus, to get out to Duna, out to Dress, out to all these different places. So you're going to want to slap it. What you're going to need to do is start with the part that's going to connect to the launcher. So in this case, you're going to have to build, and this is kind of counterintuitive. It's You're going to want to until you get used to building things like this to use as a sub-assembly uh, I found it helps to build what you want so you can see it visualize exactly how everything needs to be and then go ahead and build it like this it helps for me it helps at least I don't know maybe some of you are better at thinking backwards than oh, that's not the right engine so then you're gonna want to build up you know and it doesn't matter doing this uh, you know when you, when you get this out in the field and it's all separated and everything it's going to operate exactly the same root, root part doesn't really come into play like that root part is more a problem uh, when you're in the editors now this should you want to pick it up from the stacked coupler of course and there you go Garbage. There's your garbage. We're ready to go. All right. Now the second thing I'm going to show you here is what I was talking about on the Steam forums. Um, and I don't have the piece resized like I was talking about. Uh, just because of the updates, I'm waiting to see if it stabilizes. So what we're going to do is you're going to want to start with this, of course. Now here's the little piece I was talking about. Now see, for doing rovers and stuff, it's it's really easy to just clone this piece and um, use the rescale factor line in the config on the cloned piece, drop it down to the six and a, uh, six and a quarter size. That way you can use these this decoupler right here. And it's real low profile. But if you see what I'm going for here, and then that's not what I'm talking about. Well, you know, you'd want to get that on there straight. You know, and then you can build that rover that you had pictured will work like this. If you build it out from there, the only thing that you're going to need to keep in mind if you're going to do it this way is you're going to need a wide base. At minimum, you're going to want to have the rocket that's right under this uh, two and a half. Uh, three and three quarter would be better, but it's got to be the two and a half. You're going to have to have a wide base or you're still going to get some tilting problems any time in the atmosphere. Um... The w the other thing to be mindful of is this connection right here. 
in order for this to be a viable method, this connection right here needs to be on the center of mass for that rover. So you're going to need to center this. And again, you could do, I mean, if you wanted to do this on a lander or something, um, you know, and you could just do another one on top. Again, make sure it's right on the center of mass for that rover. And better, see, as you can see, this is why I scale down this piece. Um, another option would be to use tweak scale. I, you know, I always forget about that. I use that myself now. Um, but you know, some of it, some of us have been playing for long enough that that just we used to have to do all that kind of stuff manually. <laughs> so you know, the, hopefully that gives you the idea. You know, and then you can have your rover exactly how you built it, but slung like this. You can have your rocket below. Uh, a little lander on top. Well, that's not very rockety, is it? And then, see, now that I look at it, you're probably going to want to go with a, and and it, and it might even require, you know, you might need to do some structural too, something like this, and then just whoa, what the hell, and then just strut the hell out of it to get it to stay. Uh, in order so you have clearance for the tires but it's you know I've launched a lot I I, I haven't actually done too much rover stuff uh, post 1.0 but it's just you gotta be careful with how you maneuver your rocket it's I've done some really really big launches uh, 1.0.2 you can still do the same stuff you just have to be a little more careful uh, last piece of advice um, and this is really really true when you're trying to launch odd payloads let's say like rovers or anything like that that's not you know your typical command module lander your basic payloads is be really 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 careful with your input on ascent you should never be inputting uh, more than five degrees of change at all uh, over you know a three to five second period your off bubble deviation from where you're pointing at should never be more than five degrees all right, well, hope this helps out, and a uh, few minutes it'll be uploaded. All right, blast on and fly safe.